Welcome to Patashala. Today we are looking into the crucial principle in Indian criminal jurisprudence. Bail is the rule and jail is the exception. This legal tenet recently reaffirmed by the Supreme Court of India holds profound significance in the context of under trials. Let's explore what this means, its historical background and its impact on civil liberties and the justice system. In India, the principle that bail is the rule and jail is the exception underscores a fundamental aspect of our criminal justice system. This principle is especially important for under trials, those who are detained without being convicted. These individuals make up a significant portion of our prison population, often enduring lengthy pre-trial detention. The Supreme Court's reaffirmation of this principle aims to address systemic issues, reduce prison overcrowding and uphold the civil liberties guaranteed by our constitution. Historically, Indian courts have had varying interpretations of bail. The colonial era combined with post-independence legal frameworks often led to an over-reliance on custodial detention. However, over the decades, landmark judgments have increasingly emphasized personal liberty and the presumption of innocence. The Supreme Court's recent reaffirmation builds on this legacy, promoting the use of bail as the primary means of ensuring an accused presence in court. Now let's look at why the Supreme Court's stance on bail is so significant. First, prioritizing bail reduces unnecessary pre-trial detention. This ensures that only those who genuinely require custody remain incarcerated before their trial. Second, it helps alleviate overcrowding in our prisons. With under trials making up a large portion of inmates, effective bail practices can lead to better living conditions and a more manageable prison population. Third, there are economic and social benefits. Prolonged detention imposes a heavy burden on the state and the individual. Families suffer financially and, and the detained lose valuable time that could be spent contributing to society. By using bail effectively, these adverse effects can be mitigated. Lastly, this principle reinforces the constitutional guarantee of the presumption of innocence until proven guilty. By ensuring that accused individuals are not unjustly deprived of their liberty, the judiciary upholds this fundamental legal tenet. Under trials in India face many challenges including extended periods of uncertainty, loss of employment and psychological distress. The Supreme Court's reaffirmation addresses these issues directly. It it ensures timely trials by reducing pre-trial detention which in turn can expedite the judicial process and decrease the duration of under trial status. It protects human dignity as prolonged detention without conviction can severely affect an individual's mental health and sense of self-worth. Most importantly, it promotes fairness. It ensures that detention is not used as a coercive tool or a punitive measure before guilt is established. The Supreme Court's reaffirmation also aligns with the protection of civil liberties, particularly the right to personal liberty under Article 21 of the Indian Constitution. Article 21 ensures that no person is deprived of their liberty except according to the procedure established by the law. Prioritizing bail upholds this right by preventing unnecessary detention. This principle also upholds natural justice, ensuring that individuals are not unjustly deprived of their freedom without sufficient cause. It curtails the potential for arbitrary detention practices enhancing the rule of law. And it ensures a fair trial by allowing individuals the opportunity to prepare their defense adequately. However, despite the Supreme Court's clear directive, there are significant challenges in implementation. Judicial delays often result in postponed bail hearings undermining the principle that the court seeks to reinforce. Law enforcement agencies sometimes misuse their authority, complicating the bail process. Many under trials lack adequate legal representation, making it difficult for them to navigate the bail process. And financial constraints can prevent individuals from affording bail, especially when bail amounts are prohibitively high. To address these challenges, the Supreme Court has issued several guidelines. Expedited bail proceedings are emphasized to minimize delays and ensure timely decisions. Digital platforms for filing bail applications are being implemented to streamline processes and reduce inefficiencies. Monitoring mechanisms mechanisms are being established to ensure accountability and adherence to judicial directives. And public awareness campaigns are crucial to educate the public about their rights and the bail process. The Supreme Court of India's reaffirmation of bail is the rule, jail is the exception, is a pivotal step towards safeguarding civil liberties and enhancing the efficiency of our judicial system. While there are challenges in implementation, continuous oversight, systemic reforms and public awareness are key to realizing the full potential of this principle. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.